Hello students, we will be learning the topic chemical reactions and equations. Before going to start the topic, I would like to ask few questions to you. So, what is meant by abbreviation? Okay, abbreviation means it is a shorthand notation of a sentence. That means instead of writing a full sentence to save our time, we are writing like this. That means IAS or IAT. So, what is meant by IAT? Can anyone uh, like, uh, expand the form of IAT? Okay, IAT means Indian Institute of Technology and IAS means Indian Administrative Service. Here, instead of writing a full sentence, I have written IAT or IAS. Not only me, because you are also using the same term IAS or uh, IAT. So like this in general, in a chemistry also we have a shorthand representation to write a chemical reaction. So we are representing chemical reaction in the form of short by using a chemical equation. So to come to the definition, it is a shorthand representation or symbolic representation of a chemical reaction. In this what we use to represent that particular chemical reaction, we are using their symbols of the substances which are participating in a chemical reaction. So, can anyone tell about the chemical equation? Okay, chemical equation means it is a shorthand representation or symbolic representation of a chemical reaction. Now, what exactly meant by chemical reaction? Generally, we know reaction. Reaction means it is a chemical change in which new substance is produced. So, in this chemical reactions, we will get new substances. So, let us take the example of photosynthesis. I have taken the example of photosynthesis. Here, generally, it is a chemical process in which plants prepare their food by using carbon dioxide, water and then light energy. That means by using these three substances, plants prepare their food. Instead of explaining all these things, what I am doing now, I have used carbon dioxide, water and then light energy. So, this thing I am writing in the short form that is carbon dioxide, water and then I am getting here food that is C6H12O6 plus oxygen. On the arrow what are the conditions that required there are there were three here carbon dioxide, water and then light energy. So, light energy I am writing on a arrow mark. Chlorophyll is a pigment, green pigment which is present in the plants. Now, carbon dioxide, is, this is a word form. This I am writing in the symbolic form. Carbon dioxide. Carbon means it is the element name and the oxide. Dioxide means here two oxygens. Di means it is two. Here I have taken two oxygen, so it together it is a carbon dioxide and then it is a water molecule where we use daily. So it is water means it is a combination of oxygen and hydrogen. Then on combining these two, the plants use light energy and the chlorophyll pigment which is present in the plants. These three together they prepare food and we will get a food in, in the form of glucose or as carbohydrates we can say and then this is called you might be knowing the formula of oxygen it is a common thing that is two oxygen atoms together will get a oxygen it is a molecule So, instead of writing all this, we can write in a short form all the formulas of these substances. 
so carbon dioxide water molecules light energy chlorophyll and then C6H12O6 and then O2 okay now by using this chemical equation what can I explain that means I can explain that the substances that are present in the reaction what are the substances that are present in this chemical reaction carbon dioxide and water molecule and then light energy then what about these that that's why to separate this and this we have kept an arrow mark so left side of the arrow and right side of the arrow what is the left side of the arrow we can say l h s l h s means left hand side left hand side of the arrow and then this is called as second part r h s means right hand side of the arrow see it is left and it is right left hand side of the arrow and then right hand side of the arrow what l h s and r h s exactly indicates so left hand side it indicates reactants left hand side indicates reactants and right hand side indicates products what it is left hand side and the right hand side left hand side indicates reactants and the right hand side indicates products what is meant by reactant what is meant by reactant reactant means the substances which react with each other to get a new substance reactant means what okay reactant means substances which react with each other to form a new substance so what is meant by product already you know you got a new substances with this reaction what are the new products here new substances here glucose and then oxygen that means products means a new substances which are formed in a chemical reaction is called product here we got two products okay what are these two products one is glucose and one is oxygen okay and then we can also know what conditions required to initiate or to start a chemical reaction what are the conditions we require to start photosynthesis process here before only i said the conditions that are required for any chemical reaction we have to write on a arrow mark i have written these conditions on a arrow mark what are the conditions that are required the conditions required for this particular photosynthesis process are light energy and then chlorophyll so light energy i have written so there these are these arrow mark represent the conditions that are required and direction of the reaction to which direction of the reaction means to which side the products are producing or substances are new substances are forming that means right side it is showing this mark it indicates right side new substances are forming and left side contains reactants got it everyone so with this i'll end my topic thank you